Hello guys, t 3 Toxy here and today I'm going to be showing you how to optimize your NVIDIA control panel and give you the best NVIDIA control panel settings in 2021. Alright guys, but before we get into the video I would just like to say, if I do help you out today this video, then consider dropping a like and subscribing as it really helps me out. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so obviously the first step is going to go to your desktop and right click on it and click NVIDIA control panel. This little window should pop up. Just make sure you click on manage 3D settings and you should be brought here. Next you want to click on global settings, then under settings and features you want to go to image sharpening, turn that off right here and then click OK. Then ambient occlusion, off, anisotropic filtering, turn that off, anti-analyzing FXAA, turn that off, anti-analyzing gamma correction, keep that on or turn it on the analyzing mode just turn that off if these are highlighted just make sure you copy these but they shouldn't be highlighted next you want to scroll down CUDA GPUs turn that on to all or however many you have just tick them on DSR factors turn that on off if you have it selected let's just say you have this one ticked you can't click anything to say off you need to untick it by just clicking it and clicking OK then on latency mode click on ultra as this is going to really boost your FPS, make sure to do that. Then under max frame rate, just cap this to maybe 10 FPS more than your mod's refresh rate. I have a 240 Hz refresh rate, so I'm just going to go to 250. Just click OK, and we can get on to the next step. Multi frame sampled AA, MFAA, turn that off. Then OpenGL rendering GPU, just put that onto your graphics card. Mine is my GeForce GTX 1070 click on that and now we can go into the next step which is power management mode now let's choose prefer maximum performance make sure you click on that and under preferred refresh rate you can click on application controlled or highest available it's your choice i'm going to leave it on application controlled shader cache turn that on texture filtering and samples turn that on texture filtering turn that on to allow Texture filtering quality, high performance, texture filtering, optimization, turn that on, threaded optimization, turn that on, triple buffering, turn that off, vertical sync, turn that off, and then virtual reality pre rendered rays, just click that onto one. Alright guys, once you've done all of that, you just want to click apply, and it should apply. If you guys do find that these settings don't help you, just click on this restore, then click yes. I'm not going to do that now and there you go all right guys so without further ado all right guys but before the video ends i would just like to say if i did help you out in today's video then consider dropping a like and subscribing as it really helps me out but without further ado i'll see you in the next one Bye bye